Hi there, Mrs. Elke here. Today I wanted to share some fun little Christmas postcard ideas. I have this cute little watercolor postcard paper that even has the little thing on the back that you can use to send it to someone. And I thought it would be super fun to put these cute little uh, cards together. So you can see I made some little Christmas stockings or some little ornaments hanging from a Christmas tree. And then if you wanted to, you could even add words like Merry Christmas. So follow along as I show you how to paint these cute little tutorials. All right. And if you're enjoying these videos, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel so that you can see anytime I add more videos to my channel. All right. And if there's anything else that you want me to do, please let me know. I love hearing your suggestions and making videos for people uh, with specific things that they ask me to do. Okay. Have fun with this guys. We'll see you next time. So I'm using this Strathmore watercolor postcard set. You can see it has the postcard stuff on the back. And I have my paint poured in a palette like this. The paint I'm using is Shinhan Pro watercolor paint. It comes in tubes. And I'm gonna start off by getting my brush wet and using brown and just making these lines that will be kind of the branches for the evergreen tree or the evergreen branch. I'm trying to kind of make some that are diagonal from the top and then that kind of go down too. Sometimes I like to use a little spray to kind of wet my paint so that they're easier to get wet. And now I'm just adding some diagonal lines to each of my little branches to make them look like evergreen branches or pine needles. Do this by starting from the center and then I just make these little brush strokes that go diagonally out from the center like that. I'm using kind of a medium shade of green. I usually like to use two different shades when I do this. And so I'm starting off with kind of a medium shade and then usually with watercolor, I'll go a little bit darker on my next round. If I was doing this with acrylic paint, I would start off with a darker shade and then I would go lighter for the next round. So now I'm going to try to get a little bit darker this time and I'm going to throw a couple of darker needles in there too. This just adds some depth in these little branches so that they don't just look one color. It gives them a little bit more life. The greens that I'm using are kind of a sage green and then more of a viridian green. All right now I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm switching to a red. I think this is more of like a crimson red and I'm just kind of doing my best to draw some circles. If you're not confident in your circle drawing abilities, you can always find something to trace. Maybe the end of a marker would be a good size for these since they're pretty small. But I'm going to just kind of freehand it. If they're not perfect. Oh well. So I like to work in odd numbers. So I went ahead and put five ornaments. And now I'm just going and adding any kind of little a pattern or design on the ornaments. This is kind of a relaxing, fun little section to do. So you can make them all the same. You can make them all varied. You can make them the different colors if you want. I decided to keep mine all red, but you could really play around with this part and make the ornaments however you would like. Another fun thing I've seen people do is maybe put one initial on each ornament for each person that's in the family. So if you have a family of five, you know, one for mom, one for dad, and one for each of the kids. Or if your last name has five letters, you could do one ornament for each letter of your last name. Next, I'm using a little bit of gold color to put on the tops of each of the ornaments. And then I'm gonna use my real little brush, it's very thin, um, and some black just to make little lines that go up to the tree.
I decided that it'd be fun to add a little bit of color up by the trees too. So I decided to throw a couple little berries here and there too, just to kind of balance out the red. Now I'm using a Micron pen, it's waterproof. And I'm just gonna write in Merry Christmas in my most beautiful cursive handwriting. And there you have it. Wouldn't that be a fun postcard to get in the mail? I think so. For this one, I'm starting off with three somewhat diagonal lines for the top of the stockings. And now I'm making kind of a curved rectangles. Then I'm gonna make kind of a J. And I'm gonna curve it back up and connect it to the top. Notice I'm using my Micron pen for this. This pen is waterproof, so if I put paint or water on it, the ink will not be bothered. Now you can decorate each of your stockings with whatever designs or patterns you want. So I'm trying to keep mine pretty simple. I decided to do a Christmas tree on one. My middle one is a snowflake. Adding a few other snowflakes around it. And my last one's gonna have a gingerbread man on it. I'm adding little hooks so they can hang up, of course on the fireplace. And now it's just like a coloring book. So I'm just going in with my watercolor and painting in the little sections. Now the only thing to make sure that you consider as you paint this in is to kind of jump around to different sections and not paint anything that's right next to each other. If I were to paint the inside of the stocking, for example, while these green sections were still wet, then my paint would probably bleed together and make a nice mess. So notice I kind of jumped around to different sections on that first stocking, and now I'm gonna move on to the second stocking while I wait for those sections to dry. My second stocking, since it's snow, is gonna have more of a blue theme. And again, you can see I'm jumping around different sections. and then we'll move on while those sections dry. Here I'm going with red, thinking of food, maybe candy canes. All right, so you can see I've gone through and filled in all of the different sections of my stockings. I wanted to make sure that each area was dry before and now I'm, I'm going back and adding all the details. So all of these are dry. I'm going back in with a little more paint and making some of the cute little details to give them a little bit more before I'm finished. So this would make an adorable little postcard that you could send to someone or it would make a great little Christmas greeting or even a gift tag. You could do one stocking on a little piece of watercolor paper and add it to a gift. I hope you've enjoyed these adorable card creations and I can't wait to see what you guys create.